Known for his most popular song, Namsa Marpo, that crossed a million viewers, Tenzing Chogyal himself is now known and recognized by the name Namsa Marpo. Currently, he is working as an audio engineer in Canada. Today, joining with me, I have a Canada-based Tibetan singer, Tenzing Chogyal, to speak about his music. Chogyal, it's really nice to have you here. Welcome to our show. Thank you, Sakina La. Uh, thanks for having me on this very, uh, you know, frivolous social media platform, Tibet TV. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, Chogila, you started singing at a very young age and did your first recording at the age of 18. Uh, you say you are a struggling artist, but um, you have released uh, quite a number of popular songs. And uh, now you are also known and recognized by the name Namsa Marpo by all the Tibetans around the world after you released your most popular song, Namsa Marpo. Uh, Chogila, can you share with us about your journey into becoming a singer whose songs are liked and loved by many? I think my journey started at a very young age of seven, eight or nine, when I started participating in school songs and dance competition and all that, those stuff. Plus, uh, one of my landlord, mm, middle son, he used to have a band and a lot of jam session going upstairs, you know. So one day he sent me his uh, first album through my mom and seeing the picture on the album cover and listening to his beautiful songs. Uh, probably that made huge impact on my, my, my mind. And one day I'm going to be a singer too. Uh, and also I believe that a lot of skills uh, I learned in school through our music teacher so maybe I, I really started my journey in a very early age at school. Uh, how do you feel about your song, Namsa Marpo, hitting the one million mark and being liked by so many Tibetans across the world? Yeah, uh, it, it feels really good. You know, I feel really good uh, to see the younger generation, especially younger generation, they, they doing cover of my songs, you know. It gives me immense pleasure that uh, the work that I, effort that I put in to make my song, it really uh, came out uh, uh, some sort of a very fruitful result. And then it's inspiring a lot of younger generation. And I, I really feel really, really good and very blessed. Uh, in most of your songs, uh, be it Hishinobu, uh, Namsa Marpo, or Kangri Kabo, it is always the lyrics that is often talked about. Do you compose your own songs? Yes, uh, not all songs, but I try to compose as much as possible. Uh, most of the lyrics come to you, Chogela. Yeah, about lyrics, yes. Um, before talking about the lyrics, uh, usually I try to compose my, my songs, but there are some folk songs that I, you know, I wrote in my, my that I did in my album. Uh, yeah, about the lyrics, yes. Uh, actually, usually I don't take a pen and paper and say, today I'm going to write this song. You know, I really uh, can't say which uh, the exact reason, but somehow the melody really comes into me uh, as a you know, spiritual thing. And then it connects with my, my face of life, the current situation of my life. And, and, and I try to... It, Sometimes the chorus comes, sometimes the, the words comes, and, and sometimes the hook. And sometimes it stays the small melody, little melody for, for, for months or for a year. And then usually it takes around a few months or, or a year to complete a song. So I don't have specially, like, uh, no, oh, I write that way or, you know, I have a special technique. It's, it's, I believe it's a more some sort of a spiritual thing. Um, Shogila, in most of your music albums, you yourself, you act in it. Um, being a singer, Shogila, what do you see in a music? I mean, what do you think a music should contain in order to grasp the attention of the viewers? Oh, yeah. It makes me laugh when you talk about acting, you know. Uh, actually, I'm not that good in acting, but due to our limited budget and uh, stops, you know, we have to work out what we have. You know? So the definition of music uh, has evolved uh, big time along with the uh, generation. You know, music used to be completely emotional, you know, it's attached to the feelings, and it's very pure. Uh, I mean, in the back days, 
now it has become more commercial but still it has the essence of the uh, feelings of people right uh, and about the driving audience attention uh, i believe we have to uh, know what some sort of what kind of audience we are targeting in terms of, in terms of demographic uh, culture and style uh, you have to do a complete research uh, you know what you are doing uh, whom you want to you know, uh, sing the song so i believe um, the melody is the key factor to have a really good song and uh, a simple a complete simple song can drive the audience attention so gilila what uh, what are your upcoming projects yeah currently uh, currently i'm working on a lot of canadian jamaican caribbean african artists you know i'm trying to help them sound better and especially with vocal editing and stuff and also i'm working on a new song called shive lama i'm very excited you know, with that uh, with a very really talented female artist based on toronto called pasan lamo uh, you might have known her and and i'm trying and also i'm trying to come up with new era style uh, music um, uh, as soon as possible uh, chogela i would like to take the opportunity of complimenting you uh, on your music um i myself i'm a very big fan of your music and my two favorite songs are namsa marbo and khangri kabo and i really look forward to your music more of your music and more of your work thank you very much sakinala uh, for your kind words you know it really uh, motivates me to do better in the future and also i want to thank uh, sakinala tipa tv for having me on giving this huge huge platform to share my views and thoughts thank you thank you so much gela for talking to tipa tv it was really nice doing this conversation with you thank you for your time Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode of In Conversation with Bed TV.